Spring is here. That's why the cockroaches are out. What's up, folks? Welcome to the Smoke Shack. Actually, we're in the recreation room. Not really. This is the recreating room. I know, bad joke, sorry. Hey, we got this for my new upgrade. Alright, this is the EVGA GeForce GTX 570 HD Classified. Uh, I want to do some unboxing for my little brother, but... Uh, already did. Sorry. <laughs> Spoiled the fun. Uh, the only problem right now is one doesn't have the HD printed out on the graphics card and number two it's on the plastic. It's not on the anti-static bag. So they provide me that. So bad packaging. False advertising. There you go. Oops. Well, we're done with that. Let's go through the items. What comes inside. Okay, you got the installation CD over here, which you don't need. You can get the new drivers online on the NVIDIA website. You can go over there. The attention over here. You got DVI to VGA port. If you still have this kind of a monitor, this for a monitor, 1024, well, no wait, 1280 by 1024, if you want to do some, uh, do a monitor like myself, actually, I don't recommend it, you got two 6-pin to 8-pin PCI Express, you got two Molex to 6-pin PCI Express, you got the user's guide, Quick start guy, poster over there. You guys want to see it? Okay. Okay. Well, you saw it. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Sorry. And. Tag. So you can put it anywhere. Your monitor, your case, the wall. Over there, your car, you can put it anywhere. Except in the parts of your body. So you already saw what's inside in this GTX 570 box over here. Now let's check out the specs. The specs are the core clock, 822 megahertz. Memory clock, 3902 megahertz. Effective. Shader clock, 1645 megahertz. Good course, 480 processing speed. Unlike the other GTX 570, this one has a higher clock. Even though it's 1280 megabytes, I'm pretty sure this one is much cheaper than the other one that has 2 gigabytes of video memory. I'm pretty surprised this one is pretty cheap. Not as cheap as the 6000 series of AMD ATI. Could have went to that. Plus, they have Ifinity. I could put three monitors over here. The only the only thing is, I'm kind of curious because it might not be compatible with my motherboard. Windows 7 is barely compatible with my motherboard, and so forth. It's only compatible with Windows. <laughs> What's the requirements in this one? The requirements for this one is you need to have. A 550 watt power supply unit. The only thing is, here's the catch. My power supply is 730 watts. Pass the requirements, right? Wrong. The only thing I didn't pass is the amperage. Okay. This one, you need the minimum requirements of 38 amperage on the plus 12 volts. Mine is only 24 amperage on the plus 12 volts. So it can barely push the GTX 260. When I put this in, 
few minutes when I'm playing uh, Duke Nukem War Inc. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, five minutes, shuts off my computer completely. So that's my problem over here, the amperage. Same theory as the car audio. The car audio has fuse amperage, right? So, for example, if you have the, if you have your alternator, like uh, 60 amperage, like my car over there, 65, actually 65 amperage. My alternator is 65 amperage of rating, and you got 120 amperage on your amplifier. It will suck all the energy, especially, especially your battery. So both of your alternator and battery will suck it all up. It will suck all that power up. And then you will have problems in your car, the alternator and your battery. And your all of your electricity in your car. So it's the same theory in a computer. Pretty good, isn't it? Hey, so if you're going to look for some power supply, make sure the plus 12 volts it's much higher than this minimum requirements over here. Okay? Alright. So is this a pretty good graphics card? Actually, yes. It did. My frame rate went up four or five minutes until it shuts off. Yeah. What else do I need to review? The only thing I'm good at as well. Car audio. Alright. We got a head unit over here, the Sony CDX GT40U. It has 52 watts times 4, which the RMS is only 17 watts and 4 channels. It also has a preamp, two channel preamps for your mids, for your highs, or for your subwoofer. But this one is a strong sucker. This is a strong head unit over here. You don't need an amplifier for your mids and high, this one will crank up your mids and high. I can tell you that. I installed this for my for my friend uh, Esmeralda. Yep, I installed it in her Toyota Corolla. So we I actually installed this good sound quality. Plus the speed on the USB really fast. Faster than my Soundstream VIR3200. So would I recommend this to you guys? Well, yes. It got USB, auxiliary port, and this one has an advanced, an advanced, uh, what do, we, what do you call it? <laughs> an advanced setup. So yeah, you gotta know your hertz, your decibels. You gotta know it. So I recommend you guys have this. It's at least 95 bucks. This one is 95 bucks, if not 100 bucks, still cheap. You can get this at Walmart or go online. If you want to find something more advanced and you want more um, preamps on a head unit, you could go on sonicelectronics.com for a six channel uh, preamps for this. Not this version, okay? There's another version for that. Alright, that's about it, and I'm wasting so much electricity over here, and I'll see you guys next time on the Smoke Shack. Turning off. Stopping. Stopping. I'm not Mac person!